Hello there, Commonwealth Realm here with our big E3 build up. This time, together with Roger Space, we're focusing on the big Zelda 35th anniversary, which we hope will be crowned with the release of the sequel to Breath of the Wild. But will it first show up at E3? That is the big question, Roger. Undoubtedly, yes. There is no doubt in my mind. I think this is one of those lock announcements. There is no doubt we are getting news about Breath of the Wild 2. Again, as I brought up in the other videos this week, might not be good news. We might end up getting a delay. Might not be, you know, what you're expecting. Uh, but I do think there is going to be, I know there's going to be Breath of the Wild 2 stuff at E3. I mean, there's, <laughs> I think both of us are in complete agreement. Like, there's there's no way, especially after what Anuma said earlier this year. We're like, oh, expect more news on Breath of the Wild 2 later this year. When I heard him say that, to me, I instantly went, oh yeah, okay, we're, this is going to be their E3 game then. It's the Zelda anniversary year, why would it not be? Yeah, exactly. We already have Skyward Sword HD. They've already shown a trailer of that, explained that, oh, new Joy-Cons and everything. And the same goes with uh, the new Amiibo, uh, which is going to be the only Amiibo for Skyward Sword HD, which hints a lot that that Amiibo might have some functionality also for the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You already know where I'm going with this. I want it where you tap the Loftwing Amiibo and you get a Loftwing that you could ride in Breath of the Wild 2 and fly through Hyrule. That would be incredible. That would absolutely make it worth it, and I would go out and buy that amiibo right away. <laughs> Or go up to the sky to the new areas and uh, oh, yeah, you might, ha might have a loft wing, but here is that you know loft wing from uh, Skyward Sword, so it makes uh, it's, it makes far, far more sense uh, in that regard. And I just think that after two years, Nintendo cannot hold back the sequel to the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild any longer. I think that uh, they have completely drained the interest. Uh, the interest for the game is at rock bottom uh, uh, at the moment. Uh, we can see that on uh, on views on Zelda channels. We can see that on the so-called news videos because there is no news about Breath of the Wild 2. I mean, to be fair, get. I don't know how you crank it out as many videos as you did. I would look at my sub box and I would see, oh, how are characters going to talk in Breath of the Wild? Here's the controls. Is Ganondorf going to And it's like you've exhausted every single possible, <laughs> not just you, but I mean like every Zelda YouTuber. I don't mean this yeah. in a negative way. You've exhausted like every possible topic. So I feel like, yeah, for you guys especially, you're like, you're waiting on this. And, uh, and I'm right there with you. And I think most Nintendo fans are as well, right? It's like so many people people were talking about every aspect of this game just based on that one like minute and a half trailer that we got two E3s ago. And I do think this is going to be a relative blowout, but I do think we'll at least get a name for whatever the sequel to Breath of the Wild is, and I do think we're going to see a pretty sizable story-esque type trailer. I'd say think like Twilight Princess. Not 2004, because I brought this up in my video and some people were thinking I'm at the 2004 one. Not the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one in 2005 with Midna and the Twilight Realm for the first time and seeing Wolf Link for the first time. We had that really beautiful music track, and I think that's more in line with what I expect of Breath of the Wild 2. I think that is a very good example, and uh, there's not going to be demos, obviously, because of the whole uh, situation we are in. It's a digital show, and uh, Nintendo will never, ever do a new Zelda uh, digital demo because they know about the danger of data mines. We even saw examples of people trying to steal the demo from the E3 booth in 2016. That was, that was still unbelievable. Yeah, I know, I know. With that in mind, I just don't see any demos happening for this game. Definitely not until very close to the release. Release. But after the leaks of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity uh, a week before release, the entire game and ROM files, Nintendo will do everything in their power to not share any sort of files that could uh, be data mined or ROMed or anything. I'm pretty sure that they are going to keep this as close to themselves as they can. Definitely. And they have been doing that up to, up to this point because I think one of the reasons Nintendo has been holding back this game from the spotlight is obviously Skyward Sword HD. It's Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity because I think Nintendo originally planned the Zelda 35th anniversary to go from February to the end of the year. I agree. Uh, I really think that Bowser's Fury was delayed uh, from a uh, November release. They wanted to end the Mario 35th anniversary in 2020, but then suddenly it had to be delayed. That's also why the Super Mario 35 uh, Switch bundle did not come out for the holidays. They had to wait with that until Bowser's Fury came right, out. Right, right. And since Age of Calamity was finished, they said, okay, we need to have something in November. So they put Age of Calamity there, ruining kind of the Triforce or the Zelda triple they, they wanted to have for this anniversary, that being first, Age of Calamity in February, then Skyward Sword HD in July, and finishing it off with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel, and also combined probably with a Nintendo Switch Pro. And that is the other reason why we haven't heard anything about this game yeah. since 2019. And we brought that up on the Switch Pro reveal video too, right? Is that like, I think 
Switch Pro and this game are, you know, inexplicably tied to each other. Whenever we find out more about one, we're probably going to find out more about the other. And, like, honestly, I just, I don't see a scenario in which it doesn't become, like, the quote-unquote launch of the Switch Pro, right? Like you said, all of these hardware revisions are tied with Zelda releases, and so Breath of the Wild 2 would make a lot of sense for, you know, a relatively big revision of the Nintendo Switch. And, again, it, it really just depends on what the timeline is for this, right? Like, we might end up seeing Breath of the Wild 2 in the Switch Pro be the big holiday thing this year, or they might get pushed to next March, which is also something we talked about even very early in this year, talking about what we think might happen with Nintendo in 2021. And, uh, you know, I, I think that is still a pretty likely possibility, right? That we're going to end up seeing all this stuff pushed to next year a little bit. Uh, regardless, I think between Skyward Sword HD, between, you know, the rumors of Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD, you know, getting ports to the Switch, people have already been also been saying, too, that they think, like, Ocarina and Majora might come in some capacity, either as, like, N64 NSO or something like that. I, I still think there's a lot left in terms of Zelda announcements at this E3. Something I will bring up that I know you don't have written in our notes that I know I want to talk about is, you know, earlier this week, year, we had the Mario items in Animal Crossing, right? With like the goalpost and the, the warp block and things like that. We're waiting on a lot of Zelda items that were in previous Animal Crossing games. I mean, we had the Triforce, we had Majora's Mask, we had a lot of different things. The Master Sword, obviously. I could see them holding that off for the announcement of like a big summer update at this E3 and tying that in with the Zelda anniversary and saying, by the way, the Zelda items are gonna be added into Animal Crossing New Horizons. I think that could be another Zelda related announcement that's gonna be at the show. Yeah, and the more you mention this, I think this direct is gonna be very Zelda heavy. It is the next big anniversary because Pokemon already had their uh, presents in in uh, February, uh, which was also the, the uh, anniversary month of Zelda. And Zelda has been waiting patiently. They got the review of Skyward Sword HD, but now I think is really the time. And if you can combine it with hardware, those extras in like Animal Crossing and maybe some new merchandise, just like Mario got for the, for the 35th anniversary last year, I think that that would be kind of... Um, the way to satisfy everyone, even though if Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel is not able to make it this holiday, people will be satisfied because you already have so much Zelda that you don't feel that uh, the way just uh, for a new Zelda, because let's face it, we haven't had a brand new Zelda, The Legend of Zelda game since the launch of Breath of the Wild on March 3rd, 2017. I was, I was going to bring this up. I genuinely don't remember if this is a game they've already made or not, just because there's been so many of these 99, 35 games or whatever. I wouldn't be shocked to see like a Zelda 35 at this, where you race to get through the original Legend of Zelda against other people. Like, I think I could see them doing something similar to that since they already did it with Pac-Man. That might be another Zelda announcement. Or if they're going to go one step further, I think it'd be easier to do something like that. But I could also maybe see them doing like a small Four Swords port and putting Four Swords on NSO with uh, with online capability. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, I think they can do a lot of things for the anniversary. It's just that they need to announce the anniversary, show us the logo, give us the name of the sequel to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild so that we have solid marketing names for absolutely everything in regards to the anniversary and Zelda. And I think that uh, the launch of uh, the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild this year uh, would obviously mean that uh, Wind Waker HD and Fire Prince HD would come uh, at a later point. But if Breath of the Wild sequel needs a little bit more time until sometime in 2022, then I think that uh, we could see Wind Waker HD and Twilight Prince HD later this year. It also very much depends on the Nintendo Switch Pro, because I don't think they want to keep Switch Pro away from the sequel to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's just too important for Nintendo. Yeah, I think the key, the key takeaway from this discussion, I feel, for people is Zelda will absolutely be there. Don't worry about a thing. We're gonna get, if you're a Zelda fan, you're gonna get a lot of information at this E3. But so much of it really is dependent on whether or not Switch Pro gets revealed. So I'm, how long do we have to wait at this point? Two weeks? So it's like, hold your breath, two weeks. There will absolutely be Zelda news, whether it's, you know, Breath of the Wild trailers or remakes or a, you know, special edition console or whatever. There's going to be Zelda stuff and I'm sure there'll be something for everybody. So... I completely agree. The The question is just how much we'll see from the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The musts are obviously the title of the game, a new trailer, hopefully some gameplay, and then answering some of the que big questions that have been there since the reveal trailer in 2019, because that was so, oh, so deliberate. But uh, yeah, I think that uh, sums it pretty much up in regards to Zelda. We have other Zelda videos, obviously. So be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the Commonwealth Realm and Roger's 
space and press that notification bell and again for all notifications to be notified about when the next videos will be going up. Big thanks as always to our patrons and, uh, and especially our Roy producer Charles Shash. Until that video goes up or um, if it's already up, uh, be sure to check it out or the other video that is available and we'll see you in the next one.